MongoDB tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the introduction of uh, MongoDB. So before starting, what is MongoDB? We will uh, try to understand what is a NoSQL database and why this came into existence when RDBMS or SQL databases were so popular. So NoSQL database is a database way which is used to manage the huge set of unstructured data. When we say unstructured data, unstructured data is the one which cannot be stored in tabular format. That is, it is not having the fixed column and row like things. So fixed column and row like things are possible only in relational database, which is when due to the uh, these kinds of concerns where in uh, the data has to be inserted into a format which wherein the schema cannot be defined so this no sequel came into existence so what are the issues solved by the no sequel database when the amount of the data is massive and it is volatile in nature let us let us uh, see let us try to have an example let us say that there is a student table in RDM, RDBMS and it has two columns, a uh, student name and roll number. So let us suppose that the, the requirement got changed all of a sudden that uh, we wanted to have some more information like uh, uh, the class, uh, the section and the, the subjects for which the student is enrolled. And if you are using a structured database or relational database, you will have to modify your table. And uh, let us suppose that it keeps on changing every now and then. So to overcome this kind of issue, the NoSQL database was introduced, which can be structured to some extent. It may be semi-structured or it may be completely unstructured data. And this is this is really very very good when you when you have hundreds of millions of uh, users who are geographically uh, geographically separated. They are in different time zone and they are generating huge amount of data, which may be structured, unstructured, or semi structured. So no SQL database is is really a good over there. So these are the different challenges which are solved by NoSQL database provides better performance because of uh, the indexing and the replication and there are no, uh, you don't have to refer to multiple uh, tables. Everything is there within one collection. You have a variety of documents possible within one collection. So in, in later videos, we will see what is collection and document. NoSQL databases are highly scalable. They are scalable horizontally. That means you keep on adding the node and this will be this will be very, very good as compared to the normal traditional RDBMS data, which is uh, uh, which are uh, scalable vertically. So you keep on adding the computing uh, power. You keep on adding the storage within the same box and uh, Oh, the, the best part of NoSQL database is there is no strict design. Let us, I, let us assume that in a traditional RDBMS database, if I have a table with two column and if my requirement has got changed, either I have to change the table definition or I have to create another table, then I have to reference my one table to another table. But in case of uh, NoSQL database, there is no such restriction. So within one collection, which is like the table, you can have uh, the rows inserted or the documents uh, inserted with the multiple feeds and uh, the way you wanted the data to be over there, you can, you can have it. So let us see what is an structured data. Structured data is the one which is available in, may be available in uh, text file in terms of uh, column and rows, and uh, they can be easily converted into visualized uh, uh, format like uh, like your graphs. So it is it is known as the structured data. When we say what is an unstructured data. And a structured data is one uh, which is like a image, a video file, or, or a PDF, uh, or a document, and uh, 
uh, there is one common thing in uh, in, in this uh, unstructured data. There, there is nothing uh, similar in that. That's why we say it is unstructured data, and we have to get the data out of that. And uh, in 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 such kind of scenario where the data is unstructured, semi-structured, or non-structured, we we uh, use uh, NoSQL databases because we can manage them easily which is not possible in traditional uh, SQL databases or RDBMS databases. So uh, these are the different types of NoSQL database. We have a document database, which is a MongoDB, which we are going to uh, see some, uh, some more portion in this uh, tutorial. So data is uh, stored in the form of a document, which has two value. One is uh, uh, the, the field and another is, is its value. Then we have uh, something called as graph stores as well, where in uh, we store the network data and uh, we have some existing data and we can relate with that. Uh, there is something called as key value stores also, which is the simplest form of the NoSQL database. That means there will be a key and a, a relevant identity to that. And uh, if you see an example, it is Radis database. So wide column stores, that is the fourth type of very popular database like Cassandra, wherein which is used to store the large data sets. So it is going to store columns of the data together. What are the advantages of using the NoSQL database? It has a dynamic schema. That's, that's the best part, which is not possible in traditional RDBMS where you have a strict design, uh, you have fixed number of columns, you have fixed data types which you have to insert. But in case of NoSQL database, there is no such restriction. You can, uh, you can change or uh, you can insert the uh, records which is known as uh, documents according to your requirement you can have as many fields as possible which is not possible in case of traditional database and there is another very popular feature which is uh, sharding where in uh, the large database can be part, uh, partitioned into small and f faster and easily man manageable uh, databases and uh, and this is this is a very good uh, feature and uh, you can have the replication setup in NoSQL databases like in uh, MongoDB and uh, one of the the it is uh, like uh, master and slave kind of thing wherein uh, uh, the right op uh, operations is going to happen on to the primary database and uh, whatever uh, uh, what you say the slave databases you can have the read operation so it is highly available and uh, this is really a nice feature so next thing is MongoDB a NoSQL database? Yes. So MongoDB is a document-oriented database which stores uh, the records in the form of collections. It is not going to store uh, in in form of tables. So MongoDB is written in C++ language, and almost all programming languages uh, drivers are available, so it can be integrated with uh, anyone. So no SQL, uh, it becomes a kind of uh, what do you say the first choice if you are uh, uh, if you are developing such application where there is no fixed design and the requirements are changing very rapidly. So you can use that. Now we, we heard a lot, what is a document-based storage? So we, we say like uh, uh, the data in case of NoSQL database is, uh, is stored in the form of uh, document. So this is a kind of JSON uh, kind of, uh, uh, what do you say, the structure wherein uh, we put in uh, curly brackets, then we put uh, the, uh, the field name, then its value, and then if you have uh, multiple, uh, 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 what do you say, the fields, then we put the another field, uh, uh, then colon, and in, in double quotes, we give its value and uh, skills like that. So this is not a, do a document. This is JSON document. And when you insert your data in, in NoSQL database like MongoDB, you, you put it in this format. It is easily readable, and you can easily put the data in this format. Now, 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 from here, we are going to really start what is a MongoDB database. So we say MongoDB is a document 
oriented database and it is called as NoSQL database. Why? Because of uh, the things we have studied in uh, previous, uh, uh, what do you say, the slides, which says it is not having a fixed schema design. You can have it according to your requirement. And you, um, and you put the data in the form of JSON, oh, like there will be a curly bracket, then there will be a field and its value. And uh, MongoDB is developed by MongoDB Inc. And uh, it is licensed under the server side public license. Uh, it is the, the best way part of this is it is an open source NoSQL database. It is developed for a high performance because of the P features it has. It is highly available because of the replication and other stuff which is there. And uh, we store the data in, in uh, MongoDB in terms of collection, which is kind of a table in RDBMS and uh, rows uh, in RDBMS. Here it is known as document. And there is a kind of uh, unique value for every, every collect, uh, document which is inserted. So document uh, 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 collection is uh, analogous to RDBMS table and rows is analogous to document. So this is a kind of comparison um, uh, chart between uh, RDBMS and Mongo database, or we can say NoSQL database. At the top, everything is stored in the database. So database and database term remain same. Either you talk about the RDBMS like Oracle, MySQL, or MS SQL. And in MongoDB, it is also known as the database. In RDBMS, the data is stored in the form of tables in terms of columns and uh, rows. But in case of MongoDB, it is known as collections. So one database can have one or many collections. In table, in RDBMS, we say it is column. Here it is known as fields. And in case of RDBMS, it is known as rows. But here in case of uh, MongoDB, it is known as documents. So at the top, it is MongoDB database, which has me, uh, uh, which is a database. And then uh, a database can have, uh, you can create n number of database in MongoDB. And in one database, you can have one or many collections. In one collection, you can have n number of documents with the multiple fields and multiple values. So uh, the document is stored in this format. There is a curly bracket. Then you have the field and the value. If you have to insert many, uh, this thing you can put comma and uh, it goes like this. It is it is the JSON format. So there is a separate tutorial for what is JSON and BSON, which is uh, uh, BSON, which is used in MongoDB. So so the data which is inserted, it is not it is in this format. Uh, you put it in uh, curly brackets that there are two values one is field and another is value and uh, this we have already seen what is no sequel uh, because uh, in the previous slides also we have seen uh, so many terminology no sequel means not only sequel and you can see it has evolved because of the restriction and challenges with the traditional database NoSQL database are designed to work with large distributed data sets, which is unorganized. NoSQL database are highly flexible. That means there is no, uh, and uh, the, the best thing to describe it is uh, a schema less thing. So you do not have a strict design. So you can put uh, the, the documents according to your requirement. It can store and process uh, uh, structured data, unstructured data, or semi-structured data. And most of the time, it is good for big data environment where the data is generated in terabytes uh, every minute or hour. This slide is about the characteristic of MongoDB. MongoDB is a schema-less. That means you can have a number of fields, its value, you can have different size and inside one document you can have another it is uh, 
it is so so famous because of its high performance because of the the query which you can uh, be be executed uh, with uh, with the uh, help of indexing on on the on the uh, the uh, the uh, document and uh, it is highly available because of uh, the replication technology you have one master node and then slave nodes you can all of them can be used uh, uh, one for writing purpose another for reading purpose uh, you can put indexing so that uh, uh, the the search will be faster and uh, file storage is it can be stored on uh, uh, multiple systems so as to allow uh, allow the the usage of uh, a computing system from multiple nodes Replication is another very good thing in in the MongoDB you have a primary node and the secondary node which is in the terms of uh, master and slave uh, architecture and it provides the uh, the distributed uh, uh, data across multiple machines sharding this is there is a separate tutorial also on this which distributes the data across multiple nodes uh, which are known as shards these are the different additions available under mongodb so you have the mongodb community server so right now it is 4.4 you can have it installed on your uh, windows system linux or or mac uh, you have mongodb enterprise server which are uh, uh, which are available with the commercial edition with a lot of features and uh, you can have the subscription uh, then if you wanted to have your mongodb in in cloud then you can uh, use the mongodb atlas and this is really a very cool thing which has been uh, uh, provided and the last it's uh, i hope uh, this is going to help and uh, thanks for watching